have discussed about the tectonics of Karakoram region in previous lecture. Today we will discuss about the Chagi Magmatic Belt. Chagi Magmatic Belt is in the uh, Balochistan province of Pakistan. The main features of the area are Chagi Hills and there are anticline and after that there are Dalbandin Trough and another feature is Rasko G anticline and after Rasko G anticline there are Kohe Sultan. In Makran range there are four arc basin so and after that there are uh, Mashkel Trough. Mashkel Trough is in the Kharan Basin and the most recent sediments of the area are there in Kharan Basin and the feature is Mashkel Trough. And the oldest rocks or lithology is in the Sinjarani Volcanic Group. And so the youngest are Kharan Basin and the oldest are Sinjarani Volcanic Group. And it is about 10 km thick and decide. So in Sinjarani Volcanic Group there are andesites and these are about 10 km thick. And towards the Chagi side the thickness of these andesites about 4 km. Sinjarani Volcanic Group is overlined by limestone and the formation of limestone name is uh, Hamai Limestone. So Sinjarani Volcanic is overlined by Hamai Limestone. There are very high amount of intrusion in a Chagi Magmatic Belt and the main rocks are diorite and granodiorite uh, which are the intrusive rocks. So there are very high amount of intrusion in the uh, Chagi Magmatic Belt and, uh, and the main proof of uh, high intrusion is uh, diorite and granodiorite. And in, uh, in Rasko area as I have told uh, in earlier that Rasko G anticline is there in magmatic uh, belt or in the province of Balochistan. It is the third uh, important feature of the area uh, which is uh, Rasko G anticline. In Rasko G anticline the oldest formation or uh, we can say that the oldest group is Kochakki volcanic group. So the Kochakki volcanic group is the oldest group in Rasko area. And the thickness of the Kochakki volcanic group is about 6 km thickness. Uh, when I have uh, discussed about the geography of Pakistan and geographical location and importance of Pakistan, I have told you that on the western side of Pakistan there are Afghanistan and Iran. So toward the Iranian border there are Jazak formation and the age of the Jazak formation is Paleocene. And another formation is Rakshani formation. And the Rakshani formation, the age of the Rakshani formation is Paleocene and there are turbidites are present in Rakshani formation. The Rasko flitch belt is highly deformed. There are Marjava flitch belt and in Marjava flitch belt and Rasko flitch belt these both are highly deformed. There are high amount of thrusting and about 1.5 km thick of phyolitic fragments are present in Rasko and Mirjava flitch belt. So it is the important feature about the deformation of the Rasko and Mirjava flitch belt because there are 1.5 km thick of phyolitic fragments are present in both of the flitch belts. And these flitch belts are overlined by Kharan limestone and the age of the Kharan limestone is Eocene. And we was, uh, there was uh, thrusting in the area before uh, limestone deposition. So we can uh, identify or we can see angular unconformity in the area. And I have told you in previous lecture, angular unconformity is evidence for tectonic activity. So there was thrusting in the area before deposition of limestone and angular unconformity is there in the area of flitch belts. On the western side of Chagi magmatic belt there are very well known formation uh, due to the copper deposits or I think about the gold deposits which is a Sendek formation and the Sendek formation overlined by Amlo formation. Uh, the age of the Amlo formation is Oligocene.
and the lithology of the sand deck formation is sandstone and these are the cross bedded sandstone so now we have discussed about the chagi magmatic belt and uh, raskoji anticline raskoji anticline we also have discussed about it now i will discuss about the dalbandin formation so the age of the dalbandin formation is uh, miocene and sometimes we uh, can say that they are dalbandin red formation the lithology of the dalbandin red formation is sandstone and conglomerate and these are the continental deposits and there are also the angular unconformity present the youngest formation is a kamrod formation between kamrod and dalbandin there are dalil formation and the lithology of the dalil formation is conglomerate and uh, in kamrod formation there are lacustrine deposits uh, we can say that lewis uh, there are axillary prism uh, which was grown with respect to time and the oldest part of axillary prism is rasco fletch belt on the eastern side of dalbandin formation there are chaman fault we will discuss in detail about the chaman fault of the area in next lecture there are subduction zone present uh, in the area uh, the one plate is arabian plate and another is indian plate indian plate is continental plate and arabian plate is oceanic plate which is subducting subducting under the indian plate so on the subduction zone there are calcareous alkaline magmatism and uh, there are very huge deposits or fragment deposits of uh, olistolith and these are in turbidites so olistoliths are very huge fragments and which are deposited in turbidites of the area and it is all about the chagi magmatic belt so viewers i hope you will enjoy all of these information about the chagi magmatic belt and viewers if you don't have subscribed my channel so please subscribe my channel and like and also share this video uh, with your connections on social media i will wait for your kind feedback about my efforts and my videos thank you